कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ पे रॉकस्टर के दादू को बाबा सीट होगी गाइस वी गॉट अ क्रेजी सिचुएशन विद जी टी एस एक्स वर्ग टॉक बाउट लूसिया बोर्डर वी गॉट ट्रेलर टू लीक्स गोइंग अराउंड वी गॉट गेम प्ले लीक्स गोइंग अराउंड वी गॉट टॉक अबाउट जी टी एस एक्स ऑनलाइन एस वॉल एंड देर इज अडियो दैट आई वॉन्ट शेयर विद गैस दैट या ब्रो लाइक इट इज एब्सोलूली गेटिंग इन टू द टेरिटोरी ऑफ है वट्स रियल एंड वट्स नॉट वर्ग डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ दैट इन अकेंड टू बट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वट इज गोइंग ऑन विद जी टी एस एक्स लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू लव यू मामा लाइक द वीडियो इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट जी टी एस एक्स टू बी गुड Dislike the video if you want Shark Cards 2.0. Dislike the video if you want GTA Plus. I want to know like where you guys at. Like the video for just good games, man. But shout out to the homie Legacy Killer. Roll this. Check this. And uh, the gaming community not taking it all that well. We have individuals going up to the Rockstar offices, looking into their windows, trying to get a peek at. Uh, I guess hoping that there's something Grand Theft Auto 6 related. Uh, this user saying y'all need to y'all need better blinds. And then he followed it up by saying, if anybody works What? at Rockstar seeing this, I mean no harm. I was just cruising with a couple of friends at 3 a.m. And uh, <laughs> yeah, many individuals. That gotta be fake, bro. There's People no way. It's truly crazy behavior, but I guess that just shows the excitement behind this game. And this individual ended up deleting this post, but it's already man, please, please, I, uh, can can a brother get some lead gameplay or something? Don't do it, guys. Like, why are you guys doing this? But can a brother get like some lead gameplay? Man? Spreading all over social media, but yeah, people desperately looking for anything Grand Theft Auto 6 news related right now. But it signs, does feel like the only new signs of the end days, guys. Signs that we're actually getting times. in regards to Rockstar Games isn't about Rockstar Games, but some of the former lead developers at the company, such as Dan Hauser. He recently hired up a bunch of ex ascend. And, uh, studio staff. They're working on some sort of sci-fi open world game. Oh, Dan Hauser's own new company. They've been hiring a lot of new developers and opening various studios. So he has massive ambition. Yo, can a brother like play some tam tam on? Because that forehead so shiny, bro. Damn. Like, d does he use like baby oil that was uh, caught from Mr. P Diddy or something like that? Damn. That's shiny. This new company. That's and, uh, shiny. Yeah, he's no longer under the Rockstar Games banner. He's doing his own thing, and I guess he he just wanted to be the lead role in all of this. And then we have Leslie Benzies. This individual was also another Rockstar leader. He was the Rockstar North president up until 2016, until he was forced okay. out. There was a massive loss. Suit. Tons of madness with that situation. Crazy, yeah, he's been yeah, working yeah, yeah. on a game called Everywhere. It's kind of unclear exactly what this is, but it's supposed to be some sort of platform in which you have games inside of it. Anyway, mm -hmm. one of the games within Everywhere is called Mind's Eye, and they re yeah, exactly. So it has some games that looks like uh, Fortnite-ish, but it also had games like this, right? Which kind of gave people like. PTSD uh, in some cases Bruh. other people were hit in the g-spot and a lot of people are like damn yo That's mafia 3. That's mafia 3. I recognize that face, right? Uh, and a lot of people are really really curious to see how it's gonna end up But wait for it guys wait for recently it. announced that they uh, teamed up with IO interactive to be the publisher of the game We don't exactly know what's going on with the game But it does seem like very Grand Theft Auto online esque and Leslie Benzies Th Rockstar North is yeah. glorious for his work. Oh, yeah, especially that cars uh, turning like <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, that, that made people believe this was a GTA 6 that they were looking at when that first happened. On the Grand Theft Auto franchise, so I guess it, it makes sense. But in regards to actual announcements from Rockstar Games, we have seen a couple. Red Dead Redemption on PC is finally a thing. I, I'm actually shocked it took this long. I didn't think it was ever going to happen. It's been 13, 14 years, but it finally did. Red Dead Redemption coming to PC yeah. on October 29th. It is unfortunately still $50. This is Rockstar Games. They're going to charge the premium for all of their experiences, even a remaster of a game that came out 14 years ago. But it's just nice to see that PC players are finally going to be getting access to this so many years true, later after true, console players true, experience true. this legendary game. And we yeah, also have yeah, seen yeah. Rockstar Games bolstering up the security of their online experiences. We saw this recently with GTA Online. Oh, they better bolster up the security for their studio, man, because like somebody's like going there and peeking and recording or trying to catch like uh, Lucia Bruna or something like that while they're working on GTA 6 uh, through the bl uh, bindings or blindings is that what, what how you say Bruh. Uh, help, help a brother out, man. Help a brother out. In Urdu, real quick, I wanna say, bro, you know, fans could not decide that people camera take bar nikal rahe hain, record kar rahe hain. ताकि वो थोड़ा सा कुछ ना जलसा ही हो जाए कुछ लाइक like, दिख जाए राइट इट इट्स क्रेजी टू मी दैट फैंस आर गोइंग अप टू रॉक स्टार स्टूडियोज एंड जस्ट ट्राइंग टू पीक थ्रू विंडोज लाइक यू कैन नॉट मेक दिस अप यू कैन नॉट मेक दिस अप दिस सक इज गॉट द फैंस सो थर्सटी सो लाइक आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल बिकॉज या इट्स बिन हाउ लॉन्ग It's more than 10 months oh, since we had the first, the very first trailer. And of course, right now the fans are believing the GTA 6 trailer too, the Lucia Bruna, uh, all of that we're gonna be seeing in trailer number two before the year ends. And the gameplay that you're looking at, guys, this is GTA 5. Oh with ai so you're probably seeing a bunch of videos pop up on the internet right now people are using ai and look at that i mean some buildings are missing right there you can as you guys can see <laughs> but overall the gameplay is just look at that it's insane in some aspects i mean yeah this is looking like gta 10 my guy it feels like that you're playing this game on playstation 20 bruh 
Like, you feel what I'm saying? But with there was some controversy with its implementation, but they've been very active with going after hackers. They've been implementing uh, band waves. So they're very serious about this online security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the reason why they're becoming you know serious about this nine years later is because all of this work is going to be transferred over to Grand Theft Auto 6. So in many ways, uh, 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 this is kind of like a beta phase for them. They just, uh, they're trying to experiment it and trying to make sure that GTA 6 Online is the best it can be day one. And they're mm -hmm. doing it with this. And I think we are going to be seeing a lot more of that in the coming weeks and months with GTA Online, some experimentation with things. Some of yeah, that yeah. is in regards to 5M. There was a recent, very interesting report coming from GTA Focal, another Rockstar website of sorts that covers the company, but they talked about the acquisition. There seemed to be a lot of chaos behind the scenes, but there was Yo. one part of this report that I found very interesting, and it was the fact that one of the former 5M developers noted that I learned later that Rockstar Games was working on a 5M killer. They were given zero sources, zero debug symbols, and zero information, so I'm not sure how they were expected to succeed. This was obviously before you know they acquired 5M. The project failed and supposedly died two years before we joined, before they were acquired by Rockstar for $20 million. They were supposed to be advising and 20? judging our team and reporting back to Rockstar on what they were like. Obviously, they were not impressed. This led to the project being revived, and it has been revived. Rockstar Games is going to be... Can a brother get like two pennies though? Like tw they're spending 20 million. So guys, like, can a brother get two pennies? Going, it seems like all in on user generated content with GTA 6 online. And I think that's going to be the big focus with that future installment because they want this to be as big as, you know, Roblox and Fortnite. And say what you will about Rockstar Games and Grand Theft Auto 6, but that online is going to be the focus as soon as the game does release. I highly doubt True. we're going to be getting single player story driven, you know, content or DLCs. I really do think it's going to be all about GTA online for yeah. about a decade plus. They're going to try to duplicate sadly. that model that they had with GTA 5 with this new installment. Oh, sadly, 100%. Oh, this like is going to be taking us down big time with GTA 6 online, though. You know, Shark cards that's why i said man like hopefully no shark cards 2.0 hopefully no gta plus plus <laughs> feel what i'm saying i we want none of that bro we just want good games we want single player to be amazing and yes i want online to be amazing too but i hope the grind is not painful i want there to be grind don't get me wrong though but when the grind is painful yeah man I, i'm about to call some uh, some of that some bowl squash you feel what i'm saying but honestly gr i hope grind is good and solid i hope we get money glitches though you know what i'm saying like the video for money glitches man <laughs> because if they're gonna play this game that way we can surely play the game the other way though you know i man the money glitches were so legendary in gta online and i remember like suckers would be making gta online money glitches guide and then like a couple of hours later rockstar would patch it as though they were sitting on youtube just scanning for videos indeed that that's what they were doing i mean there were reports at that time i mean this is old information right now but yeah you remember the uh, money glitches era for gt online crazy man but in regards to actual GTA 6 updates, earlier this year we did find out that the game was in its final development stretch, but the problem with that is final development stretch could mean another couple of years, and it was said that Rockstar was bringing developers back to the office for five days a week for security and productivity. And the security is a big thing. This company has been hit with so many leaks, so many hacks. The 2022 hack specifically in which that teenager, I think he's in jail now in the UK, but that specific thing has still been brought with new results, new findings to this day. Just shows you how massive a leak it was. But we have also seen that Take-Two Interactive just recently reaffirmed that fall 2025 is the release date plans for GTA 6, but you better better you better hope that somebody do not uh record gameplay through those uh while peeking though because we had the guy like peeking taking pictures posting over on the internet right caught you there rockstar with the gta 6 gameplay yeah man i mean damn this is crazy at this point i want to see some gameplay though so can i brother i don't want the full game leaking out don't get uh but don't get me wrong like i want like a little bit of leak so like maybe five minutes of gameplay leaking out maybe 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes wouldn't hurt you know we're talking gta 6 damn it uh hopefully no spoilers but uh some gameplay wouldn't hurt though wouldn't hurt though like but the video the thing is, this can change. This can change in the months to follow. And I think former developers facts, have uh, pretty much facts. made that clear. We're going to talk about that in a second. We also have seen new leaks emerging. This was one of the big ones that people were talking about, saying, is this real? Is this fake? Or what's going on with this specifically? And I'll play the clip, but if you look very closely, you can see this is supposed to be the oh, Windward part. One, you yeah, see yeah. within the first debut trailer of GTA 6, cap. many individuals were like, actually, maybe this is real, but it became quite clear that this is likely just an Unreal Engine render. And the reason why is because if you look very closely, it's or, or it might be like the AI thing that this is what I have been showing you guys, right? Oh, it's loading, my bad. Yeah, so this is what i have been showing you right look at that it's uh, it, it is amazing though it, it feels like if you told somebody that this is gta 7 that had no knowledge of their existence that had no knowledge of where they are or what planet they're on they would have believed you they would be like yeah you're bro if you didn't tell me anything i would have assumed this is gta 8 Bruh. exactly right so look at that it is uh getting lit oh my god look at that the blue skies you got the dog out here that's a good boy that's a good boy uh you're walking with the dog damn sheesh and, and look at the the shorts as well right the physics on those shorts as he's walking the air is hitting and the shorts is like flip-flop and it's realistic af exactly right so suckers would have believed this is gta
some of the vehicles. There's an Amazon logo right here on this vehicle. And there's also some actual, accurate real world vehicles here. So it's quite yeah. clearly this yeah, is not yeah. Grand Theft Auto 6 related, but it just shows. I, I don't know why this game is hit with so many fake leaks, but I guess people are just looking for you know, their own 15 seconds or quick laugh. And say what you will, we've seen the yeah, Rockstar yeah, Games yeah. community over the years go way, way further with these fake leaks. It's truly insane the time some people have for this. But yeah, GTA 6 leaks, this is, I guess, some of the content that's been going around on YouTube. Uh, don't ask me why, but I've a sneaking suspicion those aren't real GTA 6 leaks. And I can't show this. I think I'm gonna have to exit out because of YouTube. But jiggle butt feature, and they show Lucio with a, I guess a, a BBL, and then a GTA 6 leak, the sexiest physical feature, GTA Mountain 2025, and then other other tweets spank me. Jesus Christ. But yeah, people are desperate. They really are desperate. <laughs> Yo, no, nah, man. You know, for the longest amount of time, we were like, bro, like, these things are gonna give her BBL and BBLs and all that. These things are gonna give. Yeah, exactly, right. And then you got this oh man i i hope that they do not nerf the burnout or anything like that but damn shush, shush. For some new GTA 6 information. Yeah, uh, uh, close your eyes, guys. And I personally believe before the year ends, we're going to get trailer too. I think we all expect it. And as this article accurately brings up, GTA 6 fans are currently losing their poor minds. And yeah, that kind of accurately sum summarizes a lot of the social media posts. And this would be another great example of it. The GTA 6 countdown account has like almost 200,000 followers, probably some of the absolute worst commentary on this game with so much fake nonsense that this uh, specific account pushes. But more specifically, they went after the mistakes that Rockstar made in the first trailer and they got community noted almost every single aspect that they brought up. Missing wind physics on Lucia's hair that doesn't match the speed of the car. We actually did have a oh Rockstar Games God, responding bro. about this. We'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, it's just crazy nitpicking and yeah, we really yeah. do need a trailer too at this point. Visible polygons on Lucia's arm and seat due to low resolution textures. It's kind of hard to describe to these people that this game is it's still in development. And uh, this trailer, it's not meant for you to go looking at every single aspect of it. Yeah, Obviously yeah. there's some really cool details. I talked about it at launch, but Jesus, this is nitpicking to an extent that crazy. The barrels hit by the car have a duplicated appearance of damage, missing necklace uh, shadow and the hair appears grainy pixelated, clothes clipping through the character model, and they go on and on with all these nitpicks and uh, yeah, the community notes eventually does pick up. Talking about this, the water at the back of the shot is missing its reflections unlike the water at the front. This is a common artifact of screen space reflection. It is by no means a mistake. Repeating window patterns, another community note, grass and shadows getting drawn into existence as the camera gets closer. And uh, yeah, this is Bruh. one of the big Rockstar Games accounts spending a, a, a considerable amount of time on pointing out nitpicks that don't really make a lot of sense. And yeah, we did eventually see a Rockstar Games developer respond to this thread saying, breaking news, video game is actually a video game. Yeah, honestly, bro, like, damn, looking at the homie Legacy Killer, he's looking like one of us, man. He's looking like a toxic gamer, man. Yeah, shout out to, shout out to all of my toxic gamers out there. I feel like that we have a new addition. Feels like that we have the homie Legacy Killer HD joining the toxic gamer launches, man. I love it, man. Welcome on in, boo-boo. Welcome on in, man. Rockstar Games accounts. Games developer mocked an individual that was pretty much comparing art direction uh, versus graphics, and then this Rockstar Games developer saying how to tell these people that these games both have art directions and graphics, which, Bruh. yeah, it, like I said, some of the conversation online about Bruh. GTA 6 and just gaming in general, it makes my mind just want to explode. But for a more detailed assessment about Grand Theft Auto 6, we did see one of the former lead developers talking about expectations with this game. This was earlier in the summer, and I thought it was very interesting because of his analysis, which I feel like it's, again, very inaccurate about the current day Rockstar Games. So pretty much, former Rockstar developer Obe Vermej, who served as technical director on every GTA from oh, yeah. 3 through to 4, stated that fans may need to lower their expectations when it comes to the sixth game, noting that he doesn't think it's going to be widely different to GTA 5. And I actually disagree with that. I think it is going to be a massive evolution, because it's important to remember, Grand Theft Auto 5 was developed for last two generation ago's hardware for the Xbox 360 PS3 and they ran into a lot of technical constraints technical constraints that you could see it all over Grand Theft Auto 5 if GTA 6 is gonna be similar to GTA 5 <laughs> yeah it's all right but that's gonna start WW5 in the gaming industry bro in terms of things that they wanted to do, but they had to cut a lot of content. And in the years since, they've, they've kind of obviously developed GTA 5 up, but it took a long time. And I think with GTA 6, a lot of the improvements and a lot of the stuff that you see in Red Dead... What I mean by this is similar as in graphically, which I don't think that's true at all. We saw the gameplay, or not the gameplay, but gameplay engine, I guess, right? Their trailer. We saw their trailer, and the game is looking very good. And tr Rockstar has a good track record of whatever they show in their trailers is how the game is looking like currently or at least at the time of them putting out their trailer rockstar has a good history and track record of that whatever this show is their game that's how the game looks like now for sure we are in strange times we're in different era right now every game that that comes out nowadays is pretty garbage right generally speaking not true all the times but generally nowadays the games that are coming out are 
trash garbage right they're not as what they look like in their cgi trailers and trailers but rockstar has been very consistent with their quality that's why a lot of people are just letting themselves go people are excited for it people are shaking people are doing helicopters people sniffing each other farts out there and whatnot yeah. maybe okay scratch that last part maybe not that much uh but but yeah right like people are excited is what i'm trying to say people are excited i'm excited you excited most probably right we excited we want this game to be good hopefully this is the one hopefully this is it but but yeah right yeah that's what i'm saying man that's what i'm saying guys check out this video on the screen recently we had ps5 pro gtsx gameplay we had some ai stuff going around as well check out this video on the screen and yeah bro it is looking very very good check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there if you already seen it then check out the video on the left